I don't like barbarians. I don't like orcs. I don't like gnomes. I don't like gremlins. Welcome back to Weekly Allowance. What are we doing today? We're looking at this Mesco. We got this a while ago and I just haven't opened it up and reviewed it yet because, uh, disclaimer, I'm not excited about it. I don't like Conan the Barbarian. If you're a Conan fan, I'm going to be talking a lot of smack about Conan during this review, so please gird your loins or leave. I sound pretty aggressive about it, but I'm just warning you. <clears throat> if my voice sounds a little strange, it's because I've been getting over the flu, so I apologize for that in advance. Yeah, so anyway, this is part of Mezco's 112th Collective line. Highly detailed action figures for collectors, great sculpts, soft goods, known for coming with a lot of accessories. I did not want this, but Patrick did, and so he got it, and so I have to look at it. We'll start off with the packaging. So you've got this iconic painting by Frank Frazetta, of Conan the Barbarian. Frank Frazetta, amazing artist, beautiful work. Hate this. The main thing I hate about it, a lady at his feet. Do not like that trope, but it is a great painting. And I'm not talking smack against Frazetta, he's an amazing artist. The back just kind of shows everything that he comes with. Picture of the figure himself, some action shots, and the rest of the packaging is matte, but then this image of the figure is <laughs> shiny for some reason. So this is a slip cover and we will take that off. To reveal the figure in the packaging underneath, 112th Collective across the side in shiny text, Mezco logo across the back, really large, large Gomez head. Warnings on the bottom, ages 18 and up, not a toy for children, intended for adult collectors only. Children do not interact. I recently discovered online that uh, people will make these cards, you know, like C-A-R-R-D or whatever, cards with info about themselves. And then there's like a do not interact section usually. So do not interact if you're whatever. If you don't like Conan the Barbarian. Stuff like that. I can already feel that he comes with a lot of stuff. I don't like barbarians. I don't like orcs. I don't like gnomes. I don't like gremlins. And that's just the way things are. Okay, and looking at the figure out of the box, of course, it's a great figure. We knew that going into this because it's Mezco. They have high prices, but with those prices comes quality and a ton of accessories. I just, I hate the way he looks. That's all. It's a great figure, sculpted well, painted well. There's just nothing about Conan the Barbarian that is pleasing to my eye. And I don't mean in like a sexual way or anything. I mean like just aesthetically, I do not like this. But instead of me complaining about how much I hate barbarians, let's just look at the figure. Stop complaining. We don't come here to listen to you whine. That's what you end up doing. Absurdly exaggerated muscles, as Conan is known to have. Crazy impossible abs. Tons of scars throughout his body. And if you look really closely, there's even a skin texture. Now, I feel like on any other character, the skin texture would be too much, too obvious. The pores too large, too bumpy, but on Conan it makes sense. He's a barbarian, he's old, he's out in the sun a lot, so he's going to have some pretty gnarly skin. So that works with him and it's a great detail. Very, very straight hair. Like his hair is straighter than mine. Does he use a hairbrush? Because I doubt that. On the back you can see a mixture of muscle and just crazy scarring. Like I don't know what's muscle and what's scar. I'm pretty sure that's intentional. What little clothing he does possess is very nicely sculpted. I especially love this necklace. You can see some different medallions on it, a raven skull, some kind of bear claw maybe, a silver pendant, and a turquoise pendant. And once again with the really cool boots. I have so many action figures that I just have great boots that I want. I would wear these. So yeah, the paint on him himself is a little minimal. We mainly just see the skin tone here, accented with some shadows, a little bit of reds and purples on some of the scars, especially on the back. And of course we have soft goods, this little uh, loincloth, styled in the manner of animal skins. So because this is a Mezco, he has a ton of accessories, so we're just going to go ahead and dive into those because there's a lot. Conan will come with a cloak, in keeping with that animal skin theme, kind of ratty and tattered. I really like the effect here too, it kind of fades in color from light to dark at the edges. Like this cloak has been through some shit, you know. It has seen better days for sure. He also comes with an alternate loincloth, 
And this one's a little longer than what he's got on. And there's some uh, chain mail, which <laughs> I, I don't know how much that's going to protect your groin, bro, but... Might as well try. He has an alternate angry head for when he's fighting or about to fight or just being generally menacing. The hair is swept back a little bit. Not as straight as we saw in the normal head. Comes with a really cool looking axe and I believe this is a crossbody harness for the axe. A really cool shield. It doesn't really scream barbarian to me though. It looks kind of Roman but I think that's just this pattern on the side. Then again, I've never met a barbarian, so I don't really know what kind of shields they carry. And there's even really cool detail on the back. Oh no. Don't film toy reviews when you're sick, kids. Really cool detail on the back with the handles. You've got this metal handle wrapped in some kind of hide. And then this hide handle with a buckle on it. There's also this ornate dagger that comes in this really neat scabbard. There's some kind of animal motif on the scabbard, painted in a dull silver. And a string on the back for attaching to his uh, belt, I believe. He also comes with a broadsword and a scabbard for the broadsword. Very ornate scabbard. Whereas the broadsword is all one color. Not very ornate. Also looks Roman. Just something about this hilt shape screams Roman to me. Is he fighting the Romans? The last accessory we have is a shimitar. Sh shim shimitar? Centaur, Shimitar, a curved sword. And that also comes with another ornate scabbard. So I really like the accessories he comes with. Lots of cool stuff. And there's this thing, which looks kind of like a manacle, but it's way too small to fit on his wrists. So I assume it has something to do with holding the weapons onto one of the belts. We'll explore that. He also comes with a plethora of hands. Grabby hands. Um, relaxed hands, kind of. Mix between feral claw and relaxed hands, reaching or relaxed hands, and grippy hands. And that's in addition to his punchy hands that are attached. You just use these attached rings on the scabbard. It's difficult, especially if you're not feeling well. But if you try hard enough, you can do it eventually. So yeah, I don't like Conan the Barbarian, but I do like his weapon system he's got going on in this figure. But as we saw before, this can be removed and replaced with a different loincloth. So I'm gonna see what that's all about. This is stretchy, so it just comes right off. He is not accurate underneath. He does, however, have a brand on his butt. CPI 2021 Mesco China. And I prefer this loincloth just because it's more visually interesting and it's a more pleasant color, at least to me. Dirty gray with some stitching on the side and this cool chainmail piece. So his necklace can also be removed and taken off. So if you don't want him to have a necklace, take that off. He doesn't have a necklace anymore. Let's try out this angry head. We switched his clothes and now he's angry. Give me back my other loincloth. That's exactly what he sounds like. But I believe if you want to attach this belt to this loincloth, you can do that too. It's just a matter of putting it on and lining up this peg hole, which is <laughs> difficult, more difficult than it sounds. But yeah, I like that better. And then you could do the same thing of clipping on the weapons so they are hanging down to his back. Um, and he also has this for the battle axe. So let's try that out. So all I did was pop his head off and slip the harness over his shoulder. And now he's got a little harness that he can apparently put his battle axe on and let's figure out how that works. I might just be totally off the mark while I do this, but you knew that was possible. You don't come here to watch someone who knows what they're doing, right? So yeah, I don't know if that's what that little dongle was for, but that's what I'm using it for. And it's working out pretty well so far. I don't know, he's kind of growing on me. He looks a lot better like this. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I love a good cloak. Honestly, I think cloaks, capes, whatnot, should make a comeback. We should all be wearing them, especially in the winter. It looks a little ill-fitting and bulky on him, but he's a bulky, ill-fitting guy, I guess. But I did notice, and maybe it's just me doing things wrong again, in the promotional image on the back, the cloak looks a lot longer, and it looks like it's got a wrappy mechanism instead of this, um, tied mechanism. So I don't know if they just had to change that last minute or what, but this cloak cape thing is definitely different than what is advertised on the box. I'm not particularly upset about that, but some people might be. So let's just swap out one of his hands really quick so he can hold a weapon, because what is Conan without his weapons? Let's give him the shim shimitar. All right, he is, <laughs> he's ready to mess someone up, I think. He is very top heavy just because of the way he's 
shaped. Um, so sometimes it is hard to get him into a uh, certain pose. Even just a standing pose is a little bit difficult. But, like all Metzcos, he comes with a stand. And this one is great because it's got that Frazetta artwork on it. Really visually interesting stand. And he can stand on himself. So, like all Metzco stands, peg hole on the bottom, peg on the stand. You can use that to plug him in. Or you can pop this out and it comes with an arm that will then wrap around his waist or wherever and hold him aloft. So, we're going to do a side-by-side -side with a couple of other Mezcos. We've got the more recent Hawk P40. And Hawk P40 is a big dude. We discovered that in his review. He's a big uh, cyborg plane man. So it makes sense that he is significantly taller than Conan, who I feel is like a shorter, stockier character anyway. I could be completely off the mark about that. And then we have Doc Nocturnal. And this character is also on the smaller side, so he stacks up a little more evenly with Conan. We've also got this Fison, Fice, Fison, I forgot the name of the company already. Fison, um, Anubis figure that works really well. I can see these two uh, fighting against each other. And last but not least, Dinosaur. Is it Conan if you don't have a dinosaur? I would say no. So we've got this juvenile Triceratops from Creative Beast Studios from the uh, Kickstarter that was fulfilled not long ago. Or wasn't long ago. I don't know. Time means nothing anymore. So if you got a dinosaur, really cool to display with him. Uh, so that's gonna do it for today, guys. Sorry for all the Conan bashing. Uh, I do prefer him like this. I don't mind looking at him like this. I think the other outfit just wasn't doing anything for me. I just... He grosses me out, honestly. I hope you enjoyed the review. Likes and subscribes are always appreciated. Comments are more than welcome. So I will see you guys on the next one.